Hey, everybody. It is Thursday, August 22nd, and I am getting ready to do a Goodwill haul. So, I have not been to Goodwill or the thrift store in a while. I think maybe I went early last week or the week before to thrift store and did not find anything. But, um... I know I've really just been tired. That's why I haven't been and um, working on the closet. And I really didn't want to go buy things that I didn't need just because it was there. Um, trying to stay away from that. But now that I have um, actually gone through everything and talked out things that are too small or... Um, out of season, um, I have to go through that pile again and figure out mainly for the new baby what is going to be out of season for her that I can consign because I know there's quite a bit of stuff with um, babies being born different seasons that I won't be able to use at all. So I have to get that done and the closet project is about three quarters of the way done. I uh, forgot to turn off notifications. Um, and it's 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 working great. Um, I love it already because this morning it only took me five minutes to find clothes or really choose out clothes and socks rather than twenty minutes searching through the basket of laundry that had not been put away. So this system works out really well and everything seems to fit just fine and um, I'm, I just need to utilize the top of the closet for out of season stuff that will be used. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to start off with the books, um, these little slide books, we have a few of these. But they like these. You slide the A for Apple and it tells you the words. So, the board book. But yeah, we're really into um, recognizing letters and numbers now and um, trying to get them into word recognition. All my kids learned how to read when they were three. I learned how to read when I was three. And the twins will be three in November early November so getting it ready I'm just uh, pretty much I started homeschool education with my kids usually around two and a half um, you know although I did things you know before they turned two but you know we really get a kind of a structure once they get two and a half three um, and we do that pretty much till they go to school and then on the weekends and of course in the summer but I did that with all the kids and uh, pretty much until they went to traditional school because they were pretty much homeschooled at first this one um, I think we have this book I cannot remember if we don't we have one like it but um, it's in storage if we do Oh, yeah, get a kick out of this one. Okay, really good condition. This one, um, we were at Barnes & Noble the other day. My 15-year-old um, needed a book for school, and um, the twins had never been to Barnes & Noble. And so we were looking at all the books, and they actually had this, uh, well, not this one, but a Wheels on a Bus book. And they're into this song. Even the baby in her class, they sing this song just about every day. So they're into learning it, and they know it, and they like to sing it. And um, I didn't buy uh, the book that I saw, but... Um, here is another version of it. Now, glad I found it, but then again, I'm going to hate this book. So, I'm going to 
be hearing this in the middle of the night while I'm trying to sleep, just in my head. So they're going to play with this and read it for a couple days, and then we're going to put it up and bring it back out um, a couple days later. We just cannot leave this book out. But, yeah, it's one of those with the sounds and the pictures, and they're going to love it. They're all going to fight over it, I'm sure. And this one, too, it kind of just struck me for the googly eyes. And they're supposed to glow, jiggle glow eyes. So we'll see. Um, Funky Farm, it's about different animals and their moms and the jiggly eyes. So, yeah, these will be the two that they gravitate towards first. But, Oh, excuse me. Um, Little Bill, my kids all grew up on Little Bill series once it came out. And um, we still have a lot of them. We had the whole collection. But some of them are just pretty much worn out. And then we have some in um, hardcover. So when I find them, I just try to recollect them. Because I know that um, they're going to like these. We still have the videos, too. And yes, we still do VCR because with little kids, DVDs are quite expensive. So I don't mind um, going to Goodwill and picking up a, a VCR. They're only three bucks. And the, the uh, tapes are like a quarter or 50 cent or something. So, um, yeah, we keep VCRs when we have little kids around. Yeah, they're going to like that one. And then this one is just Curious George. We bought another Curious George book, I think, last week. And Curious George goes camping. So I think they will enjoy this one. And, oh, by the way, the books were um, 30 cent. Yeah. Now, I generally don't do too many Goodwill books because at the thrift store I can get them for a dime. So, but I just saw those and figured, okay. Um, and I'll start with these. This is just for this is for the new baby. This is just a like a celery green onesie. It's a jamboree, three to six months. It just has a little ribbon detail. Oh, we'll find something to go with it. I'm sure we already have something. <sighs> and this one, too. I can tell all these came from the same person. They're pretty much, they weren't used much. This is a three to six months, too. Beach baby. And this one, it's a darker green. This one is a three to six months, so like the ladybugs, I had to get it. And this little outfit, um, by Cache, Cache. Yeah, I don't know. There's not a size tag in it, but if I had to guess, I would say a six to nine month. It could be a three to six month, but I know my kids would not be able to fit this three to six months because they're small so um, by spring this will be really really cute and uh, I don't know I just liked it I have to keep one really kind of dress up frilly outfit if not for um, pictures but I just thought it was adorable and then the back and the little black leggings, black, white, and then the pink, fat pink trim. So, and then this little, um, uh, what do you call it, sleeper. It's like a, a little, it's a dressier sleeper. Um, I, this one is brand new. It's a newborn. And I picked it up because I like it. I'm not generally fond of red, but we have, um, 
we have this in nine months. It's a fleece, though. And it was just really cute. The polka dots broke up the red. So when I saw this, I just thought, okay, I have to get it. And it has a little shoe foot on the bottom. And a little ruffle on the back. And so we may um, use this for coming home. And I try to keep it simple, bringing babies home. Um, and not have to really fuss with them too much. That's cute. And then just a pair of children's place shorts. These are 3T. And we have a ton of tops that will match. And I just like these little shorts. And they have the little pocket. And so Layla will love pockets. Put her clothes on this morning and she had pockets. And she's like, where's my money? <laughs> wanted to put money in her pocket so we can um, definitely use these now and probably part of the spring all right this is just the most cutest dress I ever saw um <laughs> looks like something I would make for the girls and actually I need to get back to making some things for them it's almost like a, a, a pillowcase dress, but not. It's kind of like the same design. It's really easy to make. But when I saw it, the pattern, it just was so attractive. I had to get it. And all the clothes were a um, dollar today. And this is a, it's a rare edition. So, J.C. Penny, yeah. And it's a 3T. So, we'll be able to use this now. And... Um, she'll be happy. See her. This is so her. So, next, if you guys have been watching the other hauls, I've been finding um, cords. Not really a huge fan of cords because I didn't like them when I was a kid. I think I wore them until I was like five and then I didn't like them. But um, I've been finding them for Layla and they're mainly fours and um, five and I'm really excited because these are Jimboree they're size three so we'll be able to use these straight away and we have tops to match so I don't have to worry about tops but I like the little detail again on the pocket and what is that? Is that the camera is at a spot and it's really really faint whatever it is it'll come out but um yeah, they're in great condition. No pockets on the back, but that's okay. Whew. This was a dress. Again, um, this is just a circle. It's a 2T. But um, I just like the pattern, the design. It's so simple and so easy. And um, it just looks really comfortable. And, I mean, I can tell it's been worn, but not too worn. The colors are still really vivid. Uh, try not to sneeze. Okay, next we have a pair of um, Hannah Anderson Capri leggings. And they're a size 100. That's a 3-4. And, um... They look brand new. I mean, the colors are just really, really vivid. They feel brand new. They don't even feel like they've been washed. So, that was really cute. And, of course, we have um, several tops that will match that perfectly. So, that will be good coming into fall. Uh, get comfortable again. Okay, next we have a a uh, shirt for sun. Uh, we're not really into the skull and cross mold. Um, he does have a little shirt with pirates on it. I think I found that at Target. But um, we generally don't do skull and cross mold. I think he has a pair of socks, too. And we call these the, the guys or the bad guys. 
uh, <laughs> not really skull and crossbone. But I don't know if he's going to wear this shirt or not. Um, if not, he'll just sleep in it. It just depends on how he feels about it. It may be a little bit too scary for him. But it's a Jim It's a size 4. So, I don't feel like I really lost anything. Even if he won't wear it out. <sighs> um, next, I have a pair of size Five slim. This is um Lands End. These jeans are brand new. They even feel brand new. They don't feel like they've been washed. The color is just perfect. Really deep in them. Um, Lands End is excellent quality, and it generally doesn't wear out. It's like Hannah Anderson. So I know these retail for I think around thirty thirty five bucks, and um. I'm looking for clothes for son because now that I've actually gone through the closet, he is the one that still needs. He doesn't have very many pair of pants and tops. So when I find things for him, I always have to pick it up. Oh, I a notification. And this is just a pair of size 3T. What is this? Poly Flinders. Um, it's a pair of yoga. Like, um, yoga like sweatpants. They're not really thick, but they're not exactly thin either. It's a light pink with some ruffles on the bottom. So we can always use these if, you know, it's just to throw in the, um, in a daycare bag for extra outfit or, you know, just wearing around the house. That's what I was actually going to look for was leggings, but I mean, they have very many. Um, but I need the leggings to go under dresses that I don't want to do tights with. So, uh, what do we have? A, the tulip line. This is, uh, Gymboree 3T. These are capris. And honestly, she didn't need another pair because I think I might have counted about eight, nine, maybe ten pair of capris. But, um, Layla tends to like capris. I guess they're really comfortable. They're not really jeans. They're not really short. They're just like that perfect length for her. So um, I went ahead and got them. And we do have some tops to match. In fact, um, coming up, there's a couple that will match too. So I got the adjustable waist in them, which is great for her because she's thin. But yeah, we like how Jimberry. Capri's fit on her. Okay. Next up is a cuff of them. A pair of Hannah Anderson jeans. They are size 100. That's a uh, 3 4. They have the adjustable waist in them. And um, again, Hannah Anderson is excellent quality. It usually, uh, you know, wears well for years. And the same little design is on the back. That's on the cuff. So, I don't know. Her jeans that I buy in Capri's all tend to have something on the cuff and on the pocket. And I'm finding that that's making it really easy for the system that I came up with um, in the closet. Um, as far as how I organized it, it's just so easy to find her clothes, being that they have that design on them. And I can quickly pull out a shirt without even trying. So. Ooh. Yeah, this happens to be, or the next two, excuse me, Hannah Anderson tops. And they go with the Jimboree Capri's as well as these Hannah Anderson pants, or jeans, rather. Um, and I have seen these before, and I left them. And I didn't pay attention because they're both the same same size, but I thought they were the same um, colors. And so, um, I don't know, I didn't get them because, you know, both of the girls are not the same size. And I just didn't get them. 
But today I saw them again and I picked them up and I looked at them and I realized that they were, they had the same colors in them, but they weren't the exact same shirt. So, um, it's got some little flower detail down there. Yeah, I don't know. Something unique out of the ordinary. Checker pattern. And this is a summer spring shirt, but I can throw a t shirt under it and um, do just fine. And we could throw a sweater over it if we wanted to layer it. So she could do this in the now, she could do it in the spring and wear it. Um, even in the summer, we can put it with some shorts. And here's a green one. So, yeah, really cute. It's got that little flower on there and then a the little flower on the buttons, which is really cute. And what do we have? This is a pair of Gymboree 2 T sweatpants. Um, really cute. And they have pockets on them. And the little butterfly detail on the bottom. And I think we have some tops with the butterfly. But if not, we have some that match. So, I just thought these would be real cute. And, um comfortable and they have the slit which is good because if Layla is actually too tall to wear them as pants she could wear them as capri sweats so, um, this little skirt I thought was cute this is just um, the third skirt now because we don't generally do skirts but um, I just thought one more wouldn't hurt. Got the little hearts on it, so we'll like that. It's a Gymboree 3T. The only drawback with their skirts is it's not adjustable waist. And um, I can easily add the adjustable waist to them, just depending on my time. But I can also take these, if I can do it with one hand, and just dart them. And what I mean is just fold them over like that on both sides and just run a needle and thread through a couple times so it's just a little dart. And um, you know that thread is not that noticeable and the tuck is not that noticeable either. And of course I have to do it so as to not cover the cover the heart but I can uh, I'm pretty much good at it. And anybody can do that. I mean, if you don't know how to sew or you don't want to, um, you think something's too big in the waist, that's what you do. Um, and it saves for, you know, like I said, sewing or hemming. You can do the same thing with a pant leg instead of hemming it um, and then ending up with a crease, which I don't like. I'll just dart the leg and then take it down as needed and for me it it just looks a lot better, a lot neater. And um, I've actually bought in clothes with darts in them so I know a lot of people do it with their kids clothes. But um, yeah, it's, it's just as simple as like the cuff of this. This is actually sewn but this is you know pretty much what you're going to get if you do it like that and then you have the free um, free edge and then they dart it you know pretty much in the middle so that's a shortcut tip guys I learned that over the years um that's the back of the skirt and so for sun gosh this is a long haul um this is a jamboree and it looks to be a size 6 although it's quite worn but, um, I don't know, it'll do. Like I said, he's just wearing it to school, and they tend to get messy with paint and stuff. So I'm trying to get some, um, dark colors if I can. Something that, you know, will hide pretty much anything. Yeah, but it's a good heavy-duty t-shirt. And this one I saw... I don't know the size. I think it may be a four. The tag is cut out by Noah Shimbury. I When I looked at it, I could tell. 
and then I looked at it further and I found the G so I know it's temporary but um, I think he'll be able to use this at least for a couple months and he'll probably end up sleeping in it if it um, is not too comfortable to wear but I just thought the colors were really adorable for a boy. It's so hard to find stuff for my son. I end up paying twice as much <coughs> for him clothes and shoes wise than the girls and the clothes are only going through him. You know, that's my my um my drawback with these clothes. At least with the girls it goes through three of them. And I never find such awesome deals with him or it's just a little bit at a time. Uh, um, this is a pair of, these are actually pants. Now, they look like cargo shorts, but I know this style. This is Oil Lily brand, and they're pants. It's kind of a wide leg, but they can be um, uh, singed in. And I can see this thing has been um, used quite a bit, so I know they did do that but they were designed to be pant and I just thought they were cute with a little star on the on the uh on the leg and all the little detail and here's the back it's the brand or lily love or lily it's a very expensive um European brand so these probably retail somewhere in the neighborhood of eighty 90 bucks, possibly a hundred. But, um, yeah, it's a good quality. Only thing is, there was no size tag in them. Or, wait a minute. Okay, they're 98, so that's a four, five. <coughs> okay. I didn't unroll it, but yeah. So, he'll be able to use these for a bit. Uh, yep. Next, we have a pair of white leggings, and these are Old Navy small. They're six seven. I looked at them and looked at them and looked at them, and I thought for you know, six seven, they're going to be way too big or too long. But then when I thought about it, they're leggings, and she's pretty long or pretty tall. So I really don't think I'm going to have a problem with them because they're leggings. If they were pants, then I would have not even thought about getting them. But um, if anything, they're going to go under a dress or a, a top or something. So I could always fold the waist down and kind of take up the length And once she puts her shoes on. But um, these can pretty much be used for quite a few dresses that we have. So... I went ahead and got them, even though I wanted more colors. They didn't have anything but pink, and we don't need pink. So, next I have um, size 5 children's place. And this is a um, khaki oatmeal color um, convertible cargo pants. So, son, like I said, needs pants. And they are five. And they look really big. But um, I guess because I don't see him as that big. But if I put these on him, they're going to actually fit him. So, I went ahead and got them. And they're in great shape. And they have the adjustable waist, too which does help because he is um, small in the waist. He's just really a tall boy. And they got the little carpenter pocket on the back. Painted pants, that's what they are. So, um, yeah. And those shirts will definitely match. And where is my last thing? Uh, let's see hidden just a pair of um, striped right shoes these are like a lavender 
And um, we really don't do too many shoes with Baby Girl, but she wants some shoes. And um, I saw these shoes, and they were a dollar fifty, and they're not bad um, used condition. So I thought I'll get them. Got the little sequins on them, and it's just like a little bit of you can see a little bit of wear right there, but. For the most part, um, she just takes her shoes off. So I've learned not to even worry about buying her anymore. And if she wears any that Layla has um, outgrown, <clears throat> which are pretty much great condition because she didn't hardly wear them. Um, that's fine. But um, lately, she's been looking at all their new shoes, and she wanted some shoes. So I saw these, and I went ahead and got them. I am going to end this video right now because it is 30 minutes long and I didn't realize it was that long but just because I'm tired I've been talking slow anywho I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye